Okay, so for you certify, you have to go to every single thing from Canvas. So if you're gonna if you're doing your ebook and you want lesson one to actually show up as a grade, you must come to it through this direction here. So you click on lesson one ebook, click on this link here, load lesson one ebook, and this is how you get credit for doing it. Not just that. You have to make sure you actually read stuff and do stuff on on these pages here. So don't go here. Don't click cards, quizzes, or labs on the bottom. You will not get credit unless you go back through Canvas and click on those from Canvas. It will not sync up. So you need to click on those from the Canvas side. So when I hit next here, I'll be on the next page. You'll notice up here, see this little green indicator dot? It says read indicator. So I'm going to click on that and say mark is unread. Now you'll see it's, it's like a heartbeat. It's throbbing up there, right? It's counting if I'm reading this. So it knows how much time it should take me to read this section here and go through it. If you read faster than what that's doing, you can always click on it and make it mark is red. That is green. If these are not all green, it's going to say you have not read this 100% and you will not get credit. Now, in these you certify books, you have videos. That's what it's saying. So if you took the time to read this and watch that video, that green thing should have been done. Picking. And then the next section, you have another green one. If I say mark is unread, you'll see it's doing the same thing and it's going to start filling up with green. See, now it's got a little bit of green on the bottom. It's going a little bit faster than that top one. And this is exactly the same stuff that's in your book, your physical book that you have, that you'll pick up at the school. It's just this is broken down. You can make this read to you. You can read the text. Click on there. It'll read to you. So if you don't do this and let these finish or click and say you marked as read, it is not going to count you as reading this first lesson as 100%. And you're not going to get credit for reading this 100%. This is a homework grade. Coming down right here, I am going to have you write every single one of these keywords and their definitions. As you can see, it's not very hard to do it. You can literally cut and paste it from right here. But what I also have you do is write your own definition of the definition. So that will be one of the assignments you have. So it should be very easy for you to do one lesson a day of the definitions. Because they're already all here. So moving down, just keep track of the right-hand sides here. Watch your videos. Your, your videos explain much better than what the book does. That's why I'm not going to focus too much time on lecture because you don't need to get hammered with the same thing and put to sleep. What I'm going to do is I'm going to cover what I know this doesn't cover. And we're going to do that all hands-on once you're finished your, your you certify labs and lessons. So again, don't forget to click those. By default, that's going to be like that. Just make sure you either mark as red or you actually read it and come up there and make sure that thing's green. I can actually see how much time you spent on these. So I know if you just clicked through it. It's only 66 pages. You can get this done over the weekend if you chose to. This is the entire book. This is all the lessons are 66 pages. So what you need to do is when you get to the next lesson, stop. Open it from Canvas. <laughs> Close this, open it from Canvas. And then at the very bottoms of these, you'll have little practice lessons right here. You have to do these too. You have to answer these questions and then say submit when you get them right. This shows that you actually studied and that you read the material. You have to do this. Don't just hit next, 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 because that's gonna affect your grade. And you have one, two, three. So I'm going to hit next. One dot two. The, again, these all coincide with your books that you'll have in front of you. And remember, I've kind of already talked about high touch installation, light touch installation, and zero touch. High touch is your USB. Light touch is using WDS. Zero touch is SCCM. So WDS, Windows Deployment Services. Zero touch, SCCM. Those are really the only things you need to remember. If you see SCCM, you know Zero Touch. You see WDS, you know Light Touch. So I will flip through this a little bit more. You should be familiar with a lot of this stuff. You've done a lot of this already, so it should make this a little bit easier to read through. 
Surprisingly, we've covered a lot of this already. I'm just trying to get to the next book. So I think we're at the end of this. So this is a skill summary. Skill summary still has a thing you got to read right here. See, read indicator. So make sure that's there if you want to get 100% credit for reading. And this tells you your minimum system requirements. And your limitations. So again, this should this stuff should all be in your notes right here. All this should be in your notes. This is stuff you're going to need to study and keep with you. It'll help you with your exam. It'll help you with your, your quizzes and tests in this course. So if I hit next, it's got some scenarios where it wants you to do the short answers. Again, you got to do these. And this has a read indicator right here. So you can say mark is read, and that'll tell you that you've read it. And then you do the short answers right here. It gives you a little quick short answer to it. You might want to jot these down in your notes also. Even if you have to cut and paste and drop them in a notepad or something, save as many notes as possible. Condense down this information and what will help you remember it. Then if I hit next, now I got the glossary. Here's all those terms again. These are the same ones that I'm going to ask you to write definitions on. So pretty easy to find them. They're right here. They were at the beginning and they're at the end. <coughs> so I'm going to hit next. So now it says to do this stuff. This is where people mess up. Don't go to them from here. Don't do that. Once you're done here, just close it. Go back to your canvas. Uh, let me go back to canvas on the, the right direction here. I closed the wrong one. So you go back to Canvas, and then you go to the next one. You'll do your flashcards from here. Click on here and click the flashcards. If you don't do that, it's not going to give you credit. So you'll look in your grades, and it's going to say zero. You didn't do it because you didn't go through it through here. It will not sync up if you don't come to it through the, through the Canvas side. Okay? Are we clear on that? And same with your quizzes. So once we're in here, I can actually come in here and I can look if you've joined it. I've got everything so you can't see it right now. So, but when I go in here, you guys see all this. I see the manages instructor side and I can actually follow up and see what you're working on. So if you say you did something or didn't do it, I can see right here if you've done labs, if you've done the lessons, it shows me if you've read it. So this is just sample because no one's on here yet. So lesson one, I can see if you've read it, you've done the cards, the quizzes, and the labs. Read, cards, quiz, lab. So I can see what percentage you're at, where you're at, if you're struggling, and I can hop in here and help you. If you're getting disconnected from it, just do it through your virtual machine. Go into your workstation and do it through your virtual machine. Sound and everything works in there. It might not sound as good as it does on your computer, but if you're having issues, uh, the virtual machine's a backup option if you want to use the workstation to go in here and do this stuff. Or if you want me to help you with something, well, either have to you share your screen or do it in the virtual machine, okay? So once you're doing this stuff, it'll show me in here if you've done it, and then I can go sync grade. So if you guys aren't doing stuff correctly, if it says you haven't logged into it through your LMS, it'll say you've done it, but ask student to log in for the LMS, which is Canvas, to sync grade. So that's where I'll see that later. So hopefully... We're good to go on that, and I am going to unlock that stuff so you guys can get started. So, freedom, here you go. Unlocking the modules. So you do have to do one before you can get to the next one. Seven and less than eight. Most classes get this done in four to five days. And then coming down here, the keywords. There's going to be one of these due every day. So lesson one, install and upgrade client systems. Your homework on this in OpenOffice will use your template. We created an intro to computers. I also have the same template at the very, very top of this class that you can just open it up and do it. You will write all of the key terms and the definitions to the following terms. You will write both the book definition and in your own words. 
your understanding of the key terms and commands. If a command, then explain what it is used for in your own words. So it helps that you've read through and done everything, then you can put it in your own words. So don't let the due dates stress you out too much. I just want these done before we start doing our hands-on stuff together. So read through it, redo the lesson, and then do the keywords, okay? You will just submit this with the definition at the end of each one and your definition at each one. So you can say, there's mine, there's mine, if you want to. Or you can do them in different colors, whichever makes it easier to differentiate the book's definition from your definition. If you put, my definition's the same as theirs, well, I'm going to be just as lazy and give you a zero. So as you can see, though, these are the exact definitions we just saw at the beginning of the lesson and at the end of the lesson. So the first part is as easy as cut and paste. And then just put read their definition and put your what your understanding of that definition or what that command does after that one or underneath it. Very simple. And then the other part, you will answer all certification ready bullet points in the lesson and write down every note listed in the lesson. Summarize the whole lesson in your own words at the end. If you noticed, at the end of each lesson has a summarization. So your summarization should be close to that one of what you learned. Certificate, uh, certification ready, notes and summarize the lesson and what you learned. When you are done, the document should be saved as your first name, last name, dash the assignment name dot doc. Assignment name of this one is lesson one, installing and upgrading client systems. Everything must be done exactly as described. Pay attention to details of the assignment. One document as asked for. Four parts graded. Keyword, keyword terms, your own key ter keyword terms, answer certification ready questions, and write notes listed in the lesson. Summarize the lesson in your own words and what did you learn. If you're missing any of these, that's one quarter of the grade of this. Okay? And you can use either PDF book. They have the same information. What that means, is I'm going to open up a PDF book really quick for you. So I'm going to open up this one. It's just easier to find them. And you can just click it again. It'll download it. And I think I gave you guys this yesterday in the WhatsApp. Not WhatsApp, but in Zoom. So as you're going through these lessons, I'm just going to scroll down really quick and just go to a random one. All right, so you'll see on the sides of here, as I get down here a little bit further, it's loading. Come on. Should have just downloaded it. So they have the certification ready, more information, take note. So these are all things you're gonna be writing down that you're gonna see in the book. Come on, thought I scrolled faster than that. I'll cheat. These actually work, or it should work. Okay, it's hating on me. I was gonna cheat. And there's your keywords again right there. That's where I got them all from. So here's the bottom line. This might be something you wanna put in your notes. And then coming down. So you see right here, certification ready. What is the advantage of having programs run in user mode instead of kernel mode? Your answer is right here. So that's what I want. That's what I'm asking for. When I say I also want your cert certificate ready and stuff in there, these, these are what I want. Certificate ready. Did you know? Notes. Certificate ready. Certificate ready. So how does a device get the attention of the processor? Which software component allows a hardware component to interface with the operating system? So the question's here and the answer's right here. It's probably going to be italicized. 
Ja. Like that. Now, in this book right here, the only thing wrong in this book is going to be this right here. This is 32 gig. So, hardware drives, the requirement for 32 bit and 64 bit is 32 gigabytes. In the Crystal Panic book, this is correct. This is the only thing she changed in that book besides pictures is this right here. Everything else is the same. This has always been the same since Windows 7 right here. So they've made so many updates and changes to it, and it's so so much bloatware in Windows 10 now. You must have 32 gigs. Again, this is where people who had Walmart computers got screwed when they bought cheap Windows 10 Walmart computers and they got upgraded to the newest version of Windows 10. Well, they only had 32 gigabyte solid state drives, which were on board that couldn't be removed. So once their systems upgraded, their their system couldn't run. They had no more a room left on its hard drive to run. So they pretty much bricked their own systems. So the only other option would be to run like uh, uh, Cloud Ready, which is Chromium, or to run Linux on there. And again, your answers are right here. Usually they're italicized. So what is the minimum amount of RAM a computer must have in order to run Windows 10 on 32-bit processor? This stuff is correct, two gigs of RAM, one gig for 32. But no one's going to have a 32-bit processor because I don't think anyone makes them anymore unless you've got an old-school Pi. So, are we clear that we need the, the certificate readies and the take notes? And again, this is my way of getting you to have notes later so you can, when you've done all your other classes and you've forgotten all this, this will help you brush up quick and remember what you did. And I'm going to hammer you with reading and writing in this course that's just doing all of those uh keywords and doing this i'm not gonna do this to you in the next course in server class because they're all the same the few little things that you that are new we're gonna go over together because you're gonna get lots of hands-on with those new terminologies in the server class so hopefully we're good to go i'm gonna be looking so just count see there's take note here and it's easier to find these in this book than it is to find these in the crystal book. Crystal book, they're all just like in the middle here. So for this, just so I don't forget them, I just go along the left side. And you also notice that she stole some labs from here that never told you how to do them. So these labs are actually the ones you're doing in you certify, so you don't got to worry about these. So those are in your you certify, and then we're going to be doing what this is missing. We're actually going to deploy in order, just like we did for your workstation. We're going to install it. We're going to set it up. We're going to update it. We're going to clean it up. We're going to pre-stage it. We're going to capture the image. Uh, we're going to migrate from Windows 1 to Windows 2 uh, user accounts, and then we're going to join a domain. From there, that's where we're going to leave it, because from there on, everything's going to be server-based, which will take us to our server fundamentals course. So I'm going to make sure that you can at least install, deploy, and capture an image. That's my goals. If you look on uh, Indeed, you'll see all kinds of jobs out there for, do you, do you know how to deploy a Windows image. Do you know how to update a Windows image? Capture a Windows image. That's what we're going to do. That's what that system 32, that system prep that you guys did uh, yesterday, that's what that tool was used for that we when we made the parent image. You created your own image. Now, there's more we could have done before we captured that. We did a version where we made a parent uh, virtual hard disk, but we can just have e easily have turned that virtual hard disk into an ISO and then use that to deploy a ready-made system. So we can go over that more depending if we get through this fundamental stuff. I can show you the more advanced stuff. So the quicker you get through the you certify, the quicker we get to do hands-on with me. And I'm not I'm just gonna be here to help you for the until you guys are done with you certify and making sure you guys are getting your keywords done. Besides that, uh, you guys are free to start working on stuff and I will shut up. I know you guys still have stuff to do on the intro class that you want to turn in. I'm going to go get grades done for what's been turned in and let you know if you need to resubmit something. And uh, here's where I'm going to hit mute and stop recording. So good luck, everybody. And write me if you need help or if you're confused. Uh, hope you enjoy this course. It's going to be fun.